How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And some of you guys have been asking, which country is best when using a VPN? So which country are you going to connect to when using a VPN with Call of Duty? Well, there's a very simple trick to keeping your ping as low as possible when using a VPN with Call of Duty, specifically whether you're playing Warzone or Black Ops or any other Call of Duty. So the trick is, let's say, first of all, you want to locate the server that you're connecting to. So let's say you're in Eastern Europe and the Call of Duty server is in Poland. I'm not exactly sure. You want to do your own research to see where the Warzone or Black Ops server is located. But let's say you're in Poland and let's say the gaming server, excuse me, let's say the Warzone server is in Poland and you're somewhere in Eastern Europe. You want to connect to the the server that is closest to the game server. So if the game server is in Poland, you want to close the gap and connect to the VPN server that is also in Poland. Latency and ping is all about um, distance and the shorter the distance, the better the ping. You're actually going to be able to get even better ping if you're having ping problems you will get better ping than your base ping. So let's say the gaming, let's say you're in the States. Of course, you don't want to connect cross content because this is not going to work. Let's say you're in New York. Um, if the Warzone or Black Ops server is in New York, you want to connect to the New York server, uh, the VPN server rather, in order to um, well, get the best ping that you can get, you know, assuming you're in uh, the East Coast, somewhere in the east side of uh, the United States. And that's pretty much how it works. Now, one thing I would recommend, obviously, I chose these VPNs, by the way, because they're the best VPNs for low ping and unblocking streaming services, so on and so forth. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. So be sure to check one of these out. Out, and uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a good time using these VPNs, especially if you're having ping problems. And, um, you know, if you want to maybe unblock your restrictions and um, get, you know, some of the exclusive discounts that may not be available to you. All right. So let's say here with ExpressVPN, of course, you want to use the best performing protocols. So that'll be the lightweight UDP with ExpressVPN. That'll be the NordLynx protocol with NordVPN. And of course, finally, the WireGuard protocol with Surfshark. These VPNs work very well and I've been testing them for, I've been using them rather for over a couple of years and they work super well, especially with gaming. I typically use them with Warzone and Rainbow Six and it works really well. I even tend to get better ping than my base ping. So that's pretty impressive considering that, you know, most people say that VPNs ruin your ping. Well, if you're using them wrong, yes, they will ruin your ping. But if you're using the specific trick, which is first of all, use the best protocol. And second of all, use the VPN server that is uh, closest to your game server, you will be good to go. Either way, you do have 30 days to test out these VPNs for 30 days risk free. And if you're not satisfied with any of them, you can just get the refund. Uh, so not a bad deal at all. Okay, so you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below if you want to jump straight to that and also find full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.